exponents and powers exponents are short form of repeated multiplication of the same number by itself and its power refers to the number of times it is multiplied exponents are useful to express very large numbers making them shorter and hence easier to understand and compare let a by b be any rational number and n be a positive integer then a by b to the power n is equal to a by b into a by b into a by b and so on n times is equal to a into a into a n times divided by b into b into b n times look at the square tile shown on the screen let us assume that each side is 1 cm there is one such row with one square unit centimeter now let us consider the figure shown on the screen there are two squares in each row and two such rows which means in all there are four square units in the same way we can count 3 4 5 6 and 7 square units the results are tabulated as shown on the screen in a chess board there are 8 squares in one row and 8 such rows which means in all there are 64 square units let us observe the tabular column closely note that the numbers 64 49 36 25 16 9 and 4 and 1 are obtained by multiplying the number by itself such numbers are called square numbers we have seen that 4 is equal to 2 into 2 9 is equal to 3 into 3 16 is equal to 4 into 4 and so on continuing this pattern we can generalize that q is equal to p into p where q and p are natural numbers q is known as the square number every number is not a square number for example is 54 a square number no square of 7 is 49 and square of 8 is 64 54 lies between 49 and 64 if 54 is a square number it must be between 7 and 8 but there is no natural number between 7 and 8 so 54 is not a square number observe the screen all square numbers till 100 is shown the square root of a number is the number whose square is the given number itself the square root is denoted by this symbol for example 8 squared is equal to 8 into 8 is equal to 64 64 is the square of 8 therefore 8 is the square root of 64 we express this statement as under root 64 is equal to 8 3 squared is 9 so square root of 9 is 3 Similarly 4 squared is 16 so square root of 16 is 4 5 squared is 25 so square root of 25 is 5 6 squared is 36 so square root of 36 is 6 and so on finding square root using the prime factorization method we will follow these steps to find the square root of a number step 1 express the given number into prime factors step 2 make pairs of similar factors step 3 take the product of prime factors choosing one factor out of every pair let us understand this concept with an example find the square root of 484 
by prime factorization method. Solution Expressing 484 as the product of primes, we get Divide 484 by 2, we get 242. It is an even number, so we again divide it by 2. Now, we get 121. We know that 11 times 11 is 121. So, 484 is equal to 2 into 2 into 11 into 11. Taking square roots on both sides, we get under root 484 is equal to under root 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 is equal to 2 into 11. Therefore, under root of 484 is equal to 22. Example 2. Find the square root of 324. Solution. We will find the prime factors of 324. 324 divided by 2 gives 162. 162 again divided by 2 gives 81. 81 divided by 3 gives 27. 27 divided by 3 gives 9. 9 divided by 3 gives 3. So, 324 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Square root of 324 is equal to square root of 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. Therefore, square root of 324 is equal to 18. Finding square root using the long division method. To find the square root of a perfect square by using the long division method is easy when the numbers are very large since the method of finding their square roots by factorization becomes lengthy and difficult. Let us understand the method with an example. Example 1. Evaluate. Square root of 5329 using long division method. Solution. Step 1. Group the digits in pairs starting with the digit in the units place. Each pair and the remaining digit, if any, is called a period. Let us mark 53 and 29 as two pairs and so we have two periods now. Step 2. Think of the largest number whose square is equal to or just less than the first period. Take this number as the divisor and also as the quotient. Consider 53 first. 49 is the nearest square. 7 is the square root of 49. Step 3. Subtract the product of the divisor and the quotient from the first period and bring down the next period to the right of the remainder. This becomes the new dividend. So, divisor is 7 and the balance is 4. Bring down 29. 429 is the new dividend. Step 4. Now, the new divisor is obtained by taking 2 times the quotient and annexing with it a suitable digit, which is also taken as the next digit of the quotient, chosen in such a way that the product of the new divisor and this digit is equal to or just less than the new dividend. Double 7, which gives us 14. The number that has to be placed next to 14 is 3. 143 into 3 gives 429. Step 5. Now, the quotient so obtained is the required square root of the given number. Therefore, square root of 5329 is equal to 73. Let us understand the method with one more example.